Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about skills upgrading in Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here in the game playing Throne and Liberty in Korea. Game is absolutely amazing. Check some reviews on my YouTube channel. But now let's focus on upgrading skills. So beside upgrading your gear, you can see here, I can show you in this part of user interface. You can obviously in Throne and Liberty enchant, upgrade, transfer and trade your gear, gear parts, different kind of parts of armor and weapon, accessories also. You can check dedicated video on my YouTube channel already regarding crafting of gear and enchantment of gear. But what I wanna actually show you, if you press K on your keyboard, you will have this user interface in front of you. Here you have all the skills of your main and secondary weapon. And before we dive, before I show you how to actually do that, you need to be very careful because you need to decide what will be your main weapon and what secondary weapon. Check already lots of guides regarding different kind of builds and I'm preparing also new guides with meta builds and best builds for different kind of roles, for tank role, for healing role and for DPS role. But what is important? Don't forget, whatever you upgrade, you need to be certain you want to play that certain weapon as your main, then secondary weapon, it's up to you which skills you will upgrade. So for example here, I'm already certain that I will play Greatsword as my main weapon, so no problem here. I will upgrade this evening, I will show you how to upgrade skills of Greatsword. Regarding Wand, my secondary weapon currently, I'm still not certain. So I will not upgrade any skills of the wand because I could change your mind. Now, let's upgrade one of the active skills. How to do that? Basically, you have here on the left side, you can see active skills. You need to click on this uh, bright arrow. Uh, click here and you'll have this user interface in front of you. This is upgrading skills. What are you actually getting with this skills upgrading? You're getting better skill effects. And not only that, you can see here, look, increase in damage and a last hit damage. Certain skills have different things which you are getting better, but in generally, later, you can get different kind of effects. Even you can get shorter cooldown for certain skills. It's very important. Now, let's upgrade this skill. I know that I want to upgrade this skill. This is very important skill for me on Greatsword. Let's do this. Let's see how is this looking. Okay. We need to do it, go, go further. I'm currently on 40%. Okay, user interface, uh, they have done a really nice way. This is looking so good in the game. In general, Throne and Liberty is a beautiful game, obviously. And uh, you'll see everything they have done in a really beautiful way regarding gear enchanting, graphically, everything is looking very appealing. Okay. Nice. Okay, now level three, let's go further. I still have uh, this uh, material. I will show you a little bit uh, in a second. You can see here, this is quality mastery book greatsword. So these books you are getting throughout your gameplay. There are many ways how to get these books, which you are using as material for upgrading skills. I'm preparing also a special video on my YouTube channel, focusing on only how to get those books different kind of books, different kind of weapons, how to get. There are a few ways how to get books. Don't worry, nothing paid to win. You can get it normally by playing the game. Let's go further. Let's go to level four. Come on, let's go. Nice. Okay, let's go to level five. As you can see all the time, my damage is increasing here. Let's go. Very important skill. That's why I'm spending lots of uh, lots of uh, skill books here. However, before I continue here, I can show you. For example, you can upgrade some of your rest of your skills. Let's check this skill here. Check this out. This skill is also very important. So I will go a little bit with precision dash. Also, this is dash. Dash to the target. Very nice skill. Uh, very useful. You are approaching your target really fast. Okay. You want to upgrade a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But like I said, be certain which weapon you will use as main before you go into upgrading skills. I'm still not certain regarding my secondary weapon. I'm kind of testing different kind of weapons. I can start with uh, greatsword and longbow combination. However, recently I'm playing with uh, greatsword and uh, wand. 
it's working pretty good. I still want to try to play with greatsword and dagger. I think that greatsword and dagger could be winning combination. That's why I don't want to upgrade any skills of the wand. I will in the future probably play as my main combination. Let's say main role, greatsword and uh, dagger combination. You can see here. Okay, uh, result. Let's go here. This we could go. Let's let's try. Wait. Let's try with precision dash. Okay, no more. I don't have any skill. Uh, this one, I can. Level up. Nice. Yeah. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can see beside upgrading your active skills, they're here on the left side. You can use any time in the game. You can put on your skill bar. I can show you here. From two weapons, you can put overall 12 active skills and eight passive skills. You can see here on my skill bar, uh, beside the uh, active skills, you have also passive skills. They're here on the right side, even that's written here, active skill. You can upgrade your active skills, uh, passive skills also. Uh, let's do that. This one, uh, okay, let's try. So upgrading skill system will be very important in Throne and Liberty. Obviously, you want to get uh, stronger skills, better, better versions of your skills as much as you can. Because, like I said, it's not only about increasing damage and regarding active skills. You can get also shorter cooldown on better versions of the skills. Or you can get better effects on your, uh, on your skills. These effects uh, will, very, uh, will be very important for you. Okay. Nice. Okay. Wow, that, that went pretty good. And we can do this one. So I'm leveling here uh, passive skills of greatsword currently because I already know I will play greatsword as my main weapon. My secondary weapon uh, will be probably dagger. I will handle that later. But now I want to focus even on passive skills of uh, this weapon. Nice. Let's do this. Nice. Can I go further? Yes, I can. Okay, a little bit more. I love how they have done it uh, graphically, right? It's looking so good. Really beautiful. Uh, can I upgrade more? This one? Okay. I will upgrade as much as I can. That's it. I don't have any more, uh, nothing to upgrade, but it was enough. Purpose of this part of live stream was to show you how to upgrade your skills. Like I said, I'll make in the future some dedicated videos, one dedicated video specifically regarding how to get that material, those books uh, of mastery to upgrade your skills. Also, check already now, lots of guides on my YouTube channel. I have already done, I have already made like 100 videos, not joking, really 100 videos on my YouTube channel. And I'm preparing 100 new videos for global release of the game, different kind of guides regarding crafting, life skills, gathering, how to level up faster. Uh, when I get into endgame, a little bit later, I'll make some guides regarding raids, guild raids, open world raids, dungeons. You'll see all the knowledge which you need to play this game before global release of this game here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Like I said, for this evening, I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, this system upgrading skills. You can see here in front of me, beautiful environment. It's absolutely amazing to play over there in Korea. Uh, if you are interested in the global release of the game, check my YouTube channel. I'm covering everything what is happening in World of Throne and Liberty regarding Korean release of the game and of course for global release of the game. This here in front of you right now, we can consider playing in Korea. I'm uh, using this opportunity as open beta. Let's say it on that way, because this is the way how to get knowledge about the game. And then when we get the global release of the game, of course, I will quit playing in Korea and instantly I will start to play in, uh, in global, on global servers. I'm in Croatia, I'm in Europe, right? So I can't wait to play without any kind of VPN or uh, with uh, ping issues. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for our live stream. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.